Hello and welcome to Ivy and Normanton's Guide to Court Dress and Dressing for Call. The first thing you'll need is a plain dark suit in black, navy or grey. For women, this consists of either trousers or a knee-length skirt or dress with a suit jacket. For men, this consists of trousers and a suit jacket. You can wear a waistcoat, but you don't have to. Both parties should wear black formal shoes. Women can wear heels, but are not required to. Underneath your suit jacket, men should wear a tunic shirt with a wing collar and bands. Women have a few more options. They can wear a tunic shirt with a wing collar and bands, a tunic shirt with a collar and bands attached, a wing collar shirt with bands, a top and a collarette, or a dress with a collarette. Your suit jacket is worn over the top of your shirt or collarette and buttoned up. Your bands, the two flappy bits of your neck, should be pulled out over the front of your suit jacket. Now you can put on your wig and gown. Your gown should be worn over the top of your suit jacket. Your wig should be worn forward so there's no hair showing between your forehead and the front of your wig. Long and mid-length hair should be tied or pinned back under your wig. And then you're ready for court or your call ceremony. All the items mentioned in this video are available on our website, ivyandnormanton.com. You can also follow us on our social media channels. Remember to check out our other videos in the Ivy and Normanton dressing range, which include topics such as how to attach a wing collar to a tunic shirt and how to measure yourself for a collarette and a wig. For non-binary advocates and advocates with religious clothing requirements or those with physical disabilities, we've prepared some written guides on the adjustments that could be made to court dress. All the links to these items should be available in the description below this video. So warm wishes and very best of luck at the bar.